Hello, hello. Good morning to everybody watching. My name is Riley Ram. My channel is all about getting the most out of life, doing what you guys love to do, and having the discipline to make it all work. Last night, we kind of ran into some problems. And um, you know what? I'm still getting ready for work, so instead of me talking to you about it right now, I'm gonna let the future Riley talk to you guys about that. So let's go ahead and talk about this. What happened last night was completely my fault. However, it still does suck. Last night we were watching Wonder Woman and I was editing vlog number four. I just finished it up and as you guys will already see now, there was a, a nice little workout edit that took me a little bit of time. And as I was rendering the video, I was exporting it into a compressor. Um, the video took up too much space on my hard drive and so I had to delete some files in order for the video to be exported correctly. So I went in, I found some files that were pretty large and I was deleting through those. Little did I know that one of those files was attached to Final Cut Pro, my editing software. I didn't know this. If you delete files that are already being used in Final Cut, you would also delete the edit that you just made. And so I had to, I had to redo all of the work that I put into vlog number four from the top. So I was going in, I was trying to figure out if there was software that I could re recover deleted files. Um, and yes, I could have recovered it from the trash can if I did it that way. However, I forced deleted it, meaning it was off my hard drive. Because think, if it's in the trash, it's still in the, the computer disk and it's still taking up space. So I had to delete it for good. That means it's gone. So I was looking for different softwares and I did find one. Um, but it's $80 and um, turns out it didn't even find the file that I needed. And, there, and, and on top of that, Final Cut Pro didn't save the edits that I had made. In other words, all the files were so skewed that I couldn't have recovered the exact edit that I had made for Final Cut, or for, for vlog number four. So I made a decision instead of, um, you know, waiting till the next morning and going to Apple to get it recovered or using a software to recover it, I had to ask myself, well, what's my goals? My goals are to upload every single day on a consistent basis. It's not to upload whenever it's convenient or as soon as some pressure falls onto me, I'll just, you know, I'll just say, okay, we'll just do it tomorrow. So I made that, I made a decision at that moment to stay up for the rest of the night and make sure that I got a vlog up. So vlog number four was made between the hours of 1 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. So I managed to get it done at 5.30, which meant we slept in a little bit. So that's why it, my day is a little bit skewed. But this brings me into the main point of the video, which is perseverance. But anyways, back to you, Pastor Riley. Hey, thank you, future Riley. Really appreciate that. Yeah, so definitely not the best night last night. We still managed to get six hours of sleep because we did go to bed at 5.30, woke up at 11.30, showered up, headed to work. But first, let's get that workout in, baby. Holy shit, the sun is super, super hot today. And I'm actually gonna do a full scoop. So wish me luck. I don't know why that's so hard. Today we're going to hit a little bit of back. Um, not much, it's gonna be a short workout. We have work at two. Without further ado, let's get into it.
Okay, that's the workout. Hope you guys enjoyed that edit. If you guys aren't putting rack pulls into your back workouts and you're trying to grow that back, you're not doing it right. I promise you, if you guys throw those in there, it, your back will grow. So we are now headed to... All right, here we are, we're back. Let's go and talk about perseverance. Perseverance, to me, means about handling the setbacks or anything that pushes you off your track and pushing through it, fighting through the hard times. People that I look up to, mentors of mine, successful businessmen, role models in general, they all pitch perseverance. Perseverance is, I think, one of the most important things to succeed in whatever you want to do. You see, setbacks are inevitable. They are going to happen. No matter how high up you are, no matter how good life is going, is going for you, you're going to have setbacks. Life is about reacting to the good and the bad. And how we come out of these bad situations is truly up to us. Now last night when I deleted the video, I could have just gone to bed and said, screw it, I'm tired, I'll do it tomorrow. But the fact of the matter is, I knew what was important to me. I knew that if I didn't upload the video, it's easier for me to do this in the future. And so I wanna keep myself in a position where it's not easy to give up. It's not easy to let my goals just be diminished just like that. And so I persevered. I stayed up four more hours redoing the exact same work that I did earlier, like four and a half hours of the same exact work. Keep in mind, this is something that I'm taking pride in. I like, in, I like making these videos and I take pride in the video and for me to delete it just like that really did bother me. And even this morning when I woke up, my SD card was all of a sudden full when it wasn't full. It had nothing on the SD card, but it was warping out on me. And so I could have said, well, looks like I'm not filming, but I knew that was just a poor excuse. So I went up, I picked up my phone, and I started recording. When I had the time, I went and looked into the issue, and I've already resolved it. But the point being is you need to learn how to overcome hard times, and you need to persevere through them. Just remember that quitters never win, and winners never quit. And so we're going to, we're going to win in 2018, because we're reaching for higher goals, and we're staying consistent to them. And so it'd be very hypocritical for me to stop on vlog four. So although I didn't want to stay up till 5.30 in the morning, and although I was very tired, I persevered, I did what needed to be done, and at the end of the day, we got it done. For those of you going through hard times, push through. Works a little, a little slow right now. Let's take a look at the board here. Not too many keys. Oh, it's nothing. Have you guys ever noticed that all odd numbers have an E in the word? That's, that's kind of weird. I wonder if they did it on purpose. You know if you take some number plus nine and then that same number times nine and then you add the, those two together, you get that number nine? So two, for example, plus nine equals 11. Two times nine equals 18. 
11 plus 18 equals 29. 29, 29. I, and it, see, it, it works with every, it, we'll do it with six to make 69. Six plus nine equals 15. Six times nine equals 54. You take the sum of these two things and you get 69. Guys, So it's slow enough to grab some food. Um, while we're on the topic of, of food, yes, I am in a bulk season right now. I, I'm not technically on any diet or workout program yet. I do intend on getting on one, but it's really about knowing your body, how your body re reacts to certain foods, in my experience that is. I've always been somebody that is able to take in higher amounts of salts and higher amounts of fats, and my body responds okay. I do have a super fast metabolism. Um, as you guys know, my, my problem isn't losing weight, my problem is gaining weight. I, I, I just can't seem to put on the weight. So um, I'm able to get away with eating some foods like this. This is typically probably not what I'd be eating on a good bulk, but um, screw it. So as we go into a diet though, what we're gonna be seeing is probably some more healthier foods that will help me go into like a leaner bulk. Still help me put on weight, but I still uh, keep some lines as well. So that's typically, typically just going to consist of your basics of proteins, carbs, and watching your fats. Um, like I said, though, I'm not, I'm not too big on my fats. So. so without further ado, I'm going to demolish this burger. Hi, my name is Chef Ram. Today we're making a chocolate milkshake. Put the vanilla ice cream in the bottle. Next, take the milk. Show the milk to the camera. Do an Asian look. Put the milk in the cup. Next is to take the Hershey's Simply Syrup and put it in the cup. Put the cap on. Blend it up. And that is how you make yourself a 100% fat-free, sugar-free Weight Watchers milkshake. You know, it's just really tough to drink these. It's just, mm. I'm like, it's terrible. Um, yeah, I'm grinding. I'm grinding out here. Really, really, really grinding. You guys have a wonderful night. Hope you guys enjoyed vlog five. And as always, if you keep doing what you've always done, you will keep getting what you've always gotten. So fight through it and let's reach higher and higher. Have a good night.